probably heard this warning before. Don't stick metal silverware into a toaster. Why? Because it could short circuit. Electricity follows a set path as it travels through a circuit, flowing in a loop. However, loose wiring or errant prodding could cause the current to take advantage of a shorter pathway. That's effectively what a short circuit is, an abnormal connection between two parts of an electrical circuit. In our toaster scenario, the unwelcome metal utensil interrupts the closed circuit and gives the electricity an alternative path to travel. If you're on the unlucky other end, holding the knife or fork in question, you could receive a serious shock or your toaster itself could become toast. All short circuits can be dangerous, as the fault current in a short circuit can be thousands of times larger than the normal operating current. In the United States, approximately 400 people die each year because of electrical injuries. 30,000 are seriously injured, and there are over 24,000 electrical fires. This is why fuses, circuit breakers, or other overload protection are so important. They disconnect the power in reaction to excessive current. There are actually two different types of short circuits, normal and ground fault. A normal short circuit occurs when a hot wire, a wire carrying electrical current, touches a neutral wire, which is the wire that completes the circuit by carrying the current back to the original power source. When this happens, resistance lessens and a large volume of current flows through an unexpected pathway. This could result in a shower of sparks, an audible crackle, or even smoke and flames. The second type is called a ground fault short circuit, and it occurs when the hot wire comes into contact with a grounded portion of the system. For example, a bare ground wire or a metal wall box. Like a normal short circuit, resistance goes down instantly, and a vast amount of current flows into an unexpected pathway. In this short circuit, you won't likely see flame or fire, but there's a bigger chance of being shocked. Some short circuits may even lead to the formation of an electric arc, a discharge of hot ionized plasma that is highly conductive. There are a few main causes of short circuits. If the insulation around wiring is damaged, gnawed on by pests, or simply old, it could leave charged wires exposed. These could then touch something, causing a short circuit. Another common type of short circuit occurs when the positive and negative battery terminals are connected by a wire. This results in a high current flowing through the battery and getting very hot very quickly, potentially resulting in explosions or fire. There are some instances where short circuits are caused intentionally. For example, the positive and negative terminals of an electric motor can be connected to each other with the purpose of braking. But for the most part, they are generally an undesirable phenomenon that should be dealt with by experts. <laughs>